avoid what happened in 2020. Not that it matters. I can't support any change that does not include a provision. Defend our base. That underscores and enforces the obligation of the state legislature to determine how electors are chosen. Otherwise, this is the tail wagging Enemy the dog. Target spotted. That's what led to this in the first place. So there's no way that this is a real reform unless that is acknowledged. Because that was the fuse that was lit by the DNC, by the Democrat lawyers, by these Democrat state elected judges and worse. That brought us to the point of people raising serious concerns about the election. And rightly so. And rightly so. And they even Enemy have torpedo that the spotted. bill places responsibility for identifying the correct electors with the governor. That's not what the Constitution says. The powers with the state legislatures. They decide. They decide. Not Congress. Nobody else. They decide. Who the correct electors are. Not the governor. Can't be done by statute. Can't be done by mob media mentality. So right in here, they have an unconstitutional provision. Torpedoes! Let's see what all the people who really want to follow the Constitution. Enemy aircraft incoming! Anti-aircraft gun on full alert. The situation is under control. Was a damnable, shameful, cowardly decision by that court. Because it only leads to more problems. Hollywood John there, the Chief Justice. Just as a, a disaster. Wild redistricting to give Democrats more House seats. Daily Wire, brazen attempt at rigging election to keep Pelosi Speaker. And others are noticing this too, finally. The Democrats have so far rigged enough seats, ladies and gentlemen. Where they have, by latest count, eight more Democrats coming into the House of Representatives without a single vote. Eight. Eight. I think I said eight. But they want to count every vote, you see. They want to amend a statue when it comes to counting elect. They're crooks. They are corrupt. Enemy they torpedo poison. spotted. They're a cancer on the body politic. They're a rash on the inner thigh of the body politic. No, they're a hemorrhoid on the body politic. And they're not going to stop. Raisin, outrageous attempt, the gentleman says, at rigging the election to keep Pelosi a speaker. No, we can't talk about that. Trump, talk about Trump. It's disgusting what they get away with. Disgusting. Enemy aircraft incoming. You wonder why anti-aircraft gun on full alert. Nancy Pelosi's son. Chip off. We're under attack. Can't say that. Nancy Pelosi. You're not allowed to use that word anymore, right? She's not a birthday. <laughs> Formerly birthing person, I think so. And the Speaker of the House, the first former birthing person, burns this guy, Paul Pelosi, chip off the old one. Daily Mail, you won't read this in the New York Times or the Washington Compost. You won't see it on the Constitution. MSLSD, no. It's amazing people are still walking the planet. And not in prison for the things they listen about. You know, Brendan Strzok and others. They were trespassing on the Capitol grounds. No way. You know, no, they were. Yes. Nancy Pelosi's son, Daily Mail exclusive, embroiled in his sixth FBI probe. This time in San Francisco, official who was allegedly bribed to remove permit violations against Squalid Flophouse, the pit owned by his ex-girlfriend. Woo. A lot in that sentence. Paul Pelosi Jr. has to be confused with his stupid big dad, 
Paul Pelosi Jr. is involved in an FBI investigation into San Francisco officials who were allegedly bribed to remove violations at his ex-girlfriend's party. Well, you know what this, uh, Hunter, Pelosi know how to pick them, don't they? City permit expediter Rodrigo Santa, a former president of the San Francisco Building Inspection Commission, was indicted for fraud in November. Santos is accused of having his clients donate thousands of dollars to building inspector Bernie Curran's rugby club in exchange for city permits. Pelosi seems to match the description of client number nine, who wrote the Golden Gate Youth Rugby Association a $1,500 check, according to prosecutors' documents. Money was spent to encourage Curran to remove violation notices against a squalid Mission District hotel that had a history of permit violations. A federal criminal complaint details alleged text messages from San Francisco to Client 9 to the, 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 the sports club. With pleasure, Client 9 replied, and later sent Santos a picture of a $1,500 check for the message. Made the donation, and it's being sent now. Anyway, earlier this month, a Daily Mail.com investigation revealed he was linked to five other federal probes in the past. Hey, what's the... Little violation, one or another. At least he wasn't trespassing. Nancy Pelosi's son is embroiled in an FBI investigation, as I said. So it's a bribery scheme. They're alleging a bribery scheme. So when we